it's so big now. When I initially filmed it probably eight years ago, <laughs> uh, it was a lot smaller than this, I can assure you. So I'm going to have to go dig out my picture because this thing is massive. I can hardly get it in this camera. Kind of overgrown otherwise in here. Another pretty fall color tree. Can you hear the bees? It smells incredible. The bees are all over. Huge barrel there. Beautiful crested swirl back there. I have to love these tall yuccas. Sometimes I'll have my mask up and sometimes I won't. They require a mask at all times, but if there's nobody around me, I'm going to go ahead and drop my mask. Then when I see people, I'll go ahead and raise it so my voice will change. And of course, that's beautiful Picket Post Mountain. And I was just on the other side of this um, initial area earlier this morning. Today I am basically looking for fall color, so I've already done my filming of the, this part of the Wallace Garden a couple weeks ago, uh, it was before Thanksgiving. This is kind of pretty here, this guy. Let's see what it is. It is an African aloe. I'm going to have to take a photo of that because that's pretty amazing. Nice breeze. filming this earlier with the bees. It's called a bitter condalia, C-O-N-D-A-L-I-A. I'm not sure that I'm saying it right, but it has quite the fragrance and perhaps that's why the bees are here. Here's the one I was filming earlier. Smells unbelievable. So fragrant. Wow. And that is a flat flowered aloe. Breeze feels good. 
Yes, we'll get back to that tree over there. I can't believe how big it's gotten. I guess I didn't realize how big it was because I haven't seen it in fall color in a while. I suppose that tree has a label on it because, oh, is there, no, this is the Mexican red button front. I don't know what the one in the back is. I see a lot of them. And I think that they are a desert tree. And this has grown up so much since I've been coming out here for years. At least a decade I've been coming out here. Everything's much bigger. I should do some comparison shots, I guess, from the first time I was here to now. Look at the spines on this guy. Yikes. I could hurt somebody. It's in the his 70s today. Post in the background always. And now I have to take some pictures. to start back here but for some reason it looked um, foggy. Pardon the fast spin. I wanted to get around the dogway station announcement for you. See that looks foggy or something. I don't have my glasses on either. That's weird. Hmm. All right well we'll go back around. I was surprised that this tree has not turned. It looks like it's turning on the other side but not on this side. We've got some great pictures of this tree. This turn has gotten so big too that it's almost hard to photograph really. Thought I saw it maybe turning on this side over here. A little bit, but not much.
the lower trees in this section had just started to turn the Wednesday before Thanksgiving.